Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. We're on our Black Eagles run, and we are about to begin Chapter 7. Let's go. Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. All right, here we go. Oh, we got paralogs. Professor, you already know about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, correct? I happen to, actually. I have gone through it before. Only the name. I see. In that case, allow me to fill you in. Thank it's you, It's a large-scale mock battle between the rival houses that takes place every year. Its scale is incomparable to the mock battle we fought during the Great Tree Moon. It will take place in the vast Grander Field. That is in Empire territory to the southeast of Garrick Mock. Whichever house defeats the most opponents wins. Of course, the professors also fight alongside their respective houses. Well, usually. Professor Manuela is being prudent. She will not be participating this year. Since his longtime rival will be absent, Professor Hanneman has also declined. I mean, she was stabbed, you know, just last month, so it's understandable that she doesn't want to be a part of the mock battle, I think. Well, in that case, I must sit out too, right? Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Are you feeling any better, Professor Manuela? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. <laughs> oh, shit talk. This doesn't quite seem fair. My, look at you! If you're as confident as all that, my students will walk all over you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. All right. Just don't complain when we inevitably win, because we will. All right, let's take a look at this month. So, okay, we can do rumored nuptials. Wait, isn't that one involving Ingrid? Huh, I guess because we have Dorothea. It worked that way last time as well. Um, as long as you have one of them, it looks like you can do rumored nuptials. So since we have Dorothea this time, we'll be able to do that. So, interesting. Okay, and Sword and Shield of Saros, that's also one we got to do. Aloise and Shamir. Alright, fishing tournament, cool. Now, what is this fishing event? Golden fish? Maybe that's when we'll do our fishing. We'll get our fishing tournament in, and then we'll do the proper fishing here. We'll do some fights here, and maybe some more fights there, I don't know. We'll see. 
Okay. Let's start with some supports. Ferdinand and Caspar. Hey, this is gonna be their last one. Wow. Caspar, I have been waiting. Ferdinand, waiting for what? I am going to give you a lesson on the righteous path of the noble. Righteous path? What? You have a problem with my path now? We you think you're more righteous than me? That remains to be seen. I heard you stopped a robbery in town <laughs> the other day. Some despicable thief who was robbing an elderly shopkeeper. Rumor has it you didn't wreak as much havoc as usual. Hey now, I think you're underestimating me here. When the thief showed up, the old shopkeeper was so scared that he could barely stand. I didn't want the guy to pass out, so I had to stay calm while handling the situation. Rather than fighting, I gave my own money to the thief and told him to get out of there. Or else. How, uh, magnanimous of you. The thief fell for it and left the shop. That's when I chased him down. I got my money back and gave that thief a good beating. He won't be back here anytime soon. <laughs> ah, so you walloped the scoundrel. That does sound like you. I am finding this story more plausible. Nevertheless, I think... Hold on. <laughs> now it's your turn. I heard a very interesting story about you recently. My turn, eh? Let's hear this story then. The way I heard it, you punched a foreign soldier right in the middle of town. How rude. Stop, stop. I know what you are getting at. But you have the wrong idea. Let's hear your version then. I had been browsing for weapons at a rundown stall. Suddenly, a man seized the stall's owner and started dragging him away. Someone with a less generous spirit might say the peddler had it coming. His wares were quite inferior after all. But without a moment's hesitation, I leapt to his aid and soundly defeated the goon. Well done. Sounds exciting. <laughs> it was nothing, really. Anyway, the old shopkeeper let me in on the details. Why do I get the feeling that everybody in the Red Eagles are just troublemakers? <laughs> he said that he was a novice trader, tricked by a noble into selling low-quality goods. That ruse was about to come to light, so the noble had sent a mercenary to keep the shopkeeper silent. So that's what really happened. I just heard you snapped and attacked some noble servant. I figured it was worth asking about. Well, I won't deny it. I forgot my rank for a moment and let my instincts take over. Is there something wrong with that? It sounds a little like something I would do. And your, uh, gentle approach to handling that robbery. That sounds like something I might do. You were not overcome by your impulses. You kept a cool head. For the most part. I think we're starting to rub off on each other. Always looking for a way to defend justice and to lift each other up. Partners in justice, eh? Well now, that I can agree to. All right, support level B. All right, Caspar and Raphael, cool. Hey, Raphael, you heard a train? Hey, Caspar, you work your muscles almost as much as I do. Of course, everyone knows that if you skip a day, you lose three days of work. Ain't that the truth. Let's get to it then. <sighs> That's probably... Enough for today. <sighs> you might be right. I'm exhausted. How did Caspar keep up with you know, freaking him? I really envy you, Raphael. You're huge. I know I'm big. <laughs> Everyone knows that. What are you talking about? Well, I'm not very big, but I've always wanted to be. That's why I train so much. I just don't know how to bulk up. Is that all? Well, I know how to fix that. Food. Really? You gotta show me. <laughs> Carb load. Follow me. Yep, we're going to the kitchens. Huh? You just led me to the dining hall. That's right. Now sit down and eat up. We're just gonna eat? Yep. Eating's the best way to get bigger. You gotta eat, and you gotta train. Do them both enough, and you're sure to grow. Well, I always thought I was a pretty big eater, but maybe I wasn't eating enough? Or not often enough? Probably both. <laughs> look at my plate compared to yours. Now this is a meal. Whoa, your plate looks like a mountain. If that's what I gotta do, 
Then I'm gonna eat until I can't anymore. I'll eat until there's no food left. That's the spirit. Come on, let's go clear out the pantry. <laughs> let's do it. I'm gonna eat till I can't move. Sounds like a good time. All right, now, Hubert. We got a little something in our last battle there, didn't we? Dart Mage. All right, so what's this going to do for us? So yeah, we do get some good stat ups for this. Miasma and Heartseeker. Is Miasma one he already has? Well, if it is, it says that uh, he can cast it twice as often. And then Heartseeker. Adjacent foes suffer avoidance minus 20 during combat. Interesting. Yep, let's go. I've passed, have I? Yes, I want him to be the Dark Mage. For sure. Alright, cool. That's what we need that Dark Sail for. Okay. Now, let me just make sure that I got everybody into their intermediate classes. Oh cool, she can become a Pegasus? How close are you on that? 100%. That's cool. What are you now? A priest. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess we just got you, huh? We'll keep her a priest, because I feel like she's better... I mean, who knows? Maybe she could get really good physically. But, uh, yeah. I still want Leone to be our Pegasus Knight, so... I'll let Flane continue being a priest. And Shamir. Damn, you're already in your advanced class. That's cool. All right. So we've got Raphael, Leone, Shamir, Flane. Maybe we'll recruit some more. Let's see, is there anything to sell? I don't think there is. You two have intermediate sales. Okay, I think we're going to explore. Let's go. <laughs> this monastery is more dangerous than I expected. It's likely that our foes have infiltrated the ranks of the teachers. And there may be others of questionable character about as well. If you ask me, there is something amiss about that old man, Tomas. Super agree, Southus. Good instincts. Oh, having a fishing tournament before the battle of the eagle and lion. At first I couldn't figure out what they were thinking. But the fish are especially tasty this time of year. So I don't question it anymore. Have you had any, Professor? You'd better eat up before it's all gone. Oh, don't you worry, I will. All right, I am going to check rooms. You know what? Here's what I'll do. The second time I do exploring, you know, when I do the fishing event, that's when I'll check all the rooms. That way we can split it up a little bit. Just... Kind of Hi, Professor. tedious. Want to know something? I do. What's up, Brother Bernie? Brother is in the territory of House Burglies in the Empire. That's right next to my home, the region of House Varley. Oh, no. What if, what if my parents come to watch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think nobles are allowed to watch. Are you sure? say that if you weren't completely sure, right? I have no idea. 
Um, okay, I don't remember what I have here. Um. Outdated, has a hard time um. cleaning. That's not you, is it? Slacking um. on their training. Knows a um. lot about plants. You're not particular about fashion. What's up, Lysithia? Why would we go all the way to Grander Field? It's idiocy to travel that far. It may be a tradition, but it takes forever to get there and is exhausting. So pointless. I guess there's nothing to be done about it. Even by you, Professor. Again. I'm actually very busy. We would need to have magic and faith. Makes sense. I'm trying to remember who else I was working on recruiting. Fodlin is big. It's not as big as Almira is, but it's still pretty big. Do you want to go home to Almira? Why do you think I would want to do that? I don't know. It's your home. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I don't think any of those are for you. Okay. Professor, has Seteth told you? We're to have a fishing tournament. Given the events of the last month, I believe this is just the sort of distraction we need. Staff and student alike. Will you take part? I'm afraid I'm not one for such festivities. I do enjoy a spot of fishing, though. I believe it best that I stick to quietly fishing by myself. Well, all right, then. No, that doesn't... Okay. Pick up whatever items we can find. Let's see. Is there anybody to talk to up in the dormitories? There is. Who's over there? Whose room is there? Felix. I'm not interested in glory or prizes. All I want is a formidable enemy to sink my teeth into. Standing right in front no, of you, one buddy. Of them, professor. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I wonder if you can be recruited yet. I know you were close. I know nothing. I know nothing. Join me Let's for see. some training sometime. I'm interested in your sword technique. I might like to become your student someday. He's close. He's close. Hmm. All right, tons of people are gonna be out here for the tournament. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty good at fishing. My older brother used to take me out. Why don't you give it a try, too? They say we can eat whatever we catch. Hmm. Hmm. What? Knows a lot about plants. He, I, I mean, he was in my house last time. And I didn't know that. I didn't know you knew a lot about plants, buddy. Sometimes it's nice to dangle the fishing line and let your mind wander. I'd love to spend some time lounging around by a scenic river or lake. Someone. Some. Someone. Some. Ah, Professor! I'd like to learn more about you. 
Yep, he's getting close as well. He's another one that we can naturally probably get. Holding such a frivolous and downright ridiculous event so close to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? It's absolutely absurd! Ah, come on, Ingrid, Although, it's all in fun. They did say we could eat whatever we catch. I'm a sucker for a good meal. I just couldn't resist. <laughs> no. 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 Hi, Professor. I've actually. Yeah, you wouldn't be anywhere near being able to be recruited. All right. Let's talk to the people around here first. I don't. <laughs> hey, I don't professor. think. Did you hear about the fishing tournament? I don't think that doing the fishing tournament first would make it so we couldn't talk to them afterwards. But just in case. You get to fish in the pond as much as you want. The more you catch, the more you get to eat. So Raphael is in, baby. That is. That is. That is. Yeah, he wouldn't slack on his training. Are you going to participate in the fishing tournament, Professor? I am. What's that? What's that? What's that? You wouldn't slack What's on your that? training either. Yes. I fished with frequency back in Bridget. I will not have Lizzie. Will you be trying to fish too? I will. This is not... This is not This This is not And I don't know who these ones belong to. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. Hmm. But they haven't been biting. Your shouting is scaring the fish. What dude. shouting? <laughs> Everyone told me I was too loud, so right? I've been using my quiet voice. Oh, this is his quiet voice, guys. Aloise, you're great. I had a craving for some tasty fish. I did not realize when I did so that it would turn into, well, this. My apologies. <laughs> what a doting brother. <gasps> oh, An antique class. Thank you so very much. That makes sense. You are welcome. And also, welcome to the group. What Seth said. Catch some tasty fish for Flame. I'm her bodyguard. <laughs> He's mad. Hmm. 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 All right, let's do the fishing. <laughs> Welcome to the monastery fishing tournament. You look confused. Didn't Seth tell you about it? Just catch whatever fish Flame requests. Show any fish you catch to Flame. I have a favor to ask. Welcome to the fishing tournament. If you catch the type of fish that Flame asks for, you might win a prize. Participate if you want, it's really not my concern. Use the tournament bait to catch the fish that Flame wants to eat. You can also talk to other participants to compare the sizes of the fish you caught. Except... It's not mine. It's not my. It's not my. Well, you look at just show any. Yes. Hey. Oh. Hey, what do you oh, want, you girl? Are you taking part two, Professor? Uh, I must admit, I am quite excited. I cannot recall the type of fish I was hoping to dine on. So, if you do manage to catch a fish, do you mind bringing it for me to see? You got it. <laughs> All right, tournament bait. So not only do we need to find the one that she wants, 
But we also need to find ones that are large enough to beat everybody else's uh, size. Okay, a red one, good. So we've gotten a large blue one and we've gotten a red one. I'll do 10 of these, then I'll go and talk to everybody except for Flame to see if we've beaten them. So the fish you catch up in with tournament bait, you can't sell them or do anything with them, so um, you don't need to go through all 50 of your baits here. You really, really don't. And it doesn't give you um, levels in your professor rank, so don't worry about that either. One. I don't think we need a gold one, but maybe we do. Okay, let's go talk to people. <laughs> oh, so you're taking part. Uh, how would you feel about a little friendly competition? I'd Catch the opened. same kind of fish as me and we'll compare the two. Biggest wins. You're likely to be Ash if you have a fish with a rarity of three stars or higher. Looks like you've been doing some fishing. Let's see what you've got. Wow, that's a spectacular fish. You win. I can't compete with that. Nice. <laughs> oh, are you taking part in the fishing tournament? Let's put your skills to the test. Whoever can catch the biggest one of these fish wins. You're likely to be Ignatz if you have a fish with a rarity of two stars or higher. Ah, you already got your hands on some fish. Let's compare them. Aw, oh, I lost. Is there anything you can't do? Nope. Are you taking part as well? Why don't we have some fun with this? A little contest. If you catch a fish like this, come show it to me. Whoever catches the bigger fish will be the victor. So, you've caught something, have you? Let us pit our fish against each other. Alas, your fish is clearly grander than mine. I suppose you win this time so last time i did this i was able to win everybody beat everybody i think he has the best fish oh you're entering too then how about a little friendly competition let's see who can catch the biggest fish 
There's no way I'll lose. Now, what I don't know is that if we talk to them and we lose, if we get another chance to go fishing to catch a better fish to beat him. Yeah, four stars for him. Did you catch I wasn't something? paying attention, so Let me see what you got. I don't know if I got that or not. No way! That yep. fish looks nice. bigger and tastier. I can't believe I lost. Probably the red ones are that. Wild game, cool. So you are joining the fishing tournament? That's great, but you don't stand a chance against me. I just caught this beauty. I bet you can't catch a bigger one of the same kind. All right, let's see what you got. I... I lost? That's a fat cat How? back there. Did you see that uh, guy? I guess I underestimated you, Professor. Look at him go. Nice, Iron Axe. I am happy that you will have participation. Maybe you and I both can have a small contest with each other? We will both have catching of the same fish type and do comparisons. Whoever has the fish with the biggest size will be winning, okay? Okay. Show me that your fish has way more size. I have had losing. I mean, I have lost. <laughs> Thank you, Petra. Um, let me check. What about you, Leonie? Why are they having a fishing tournament now? Are they just giving up on the battle of the eagle and lion? You're not condoning this, right? Are you? Totally. Yes, I'm taking part. I can't lie to her. What? If you've got all this free time, <laughs> shouldn't you be spending it on your students? So judgmental, Leo. Come on. Someone... Someone... You would never slack on your training Someone... either. Come on, Leone, have some fun. Have some fun, girl. Yes. Hey. Have you thought about entering? Maybe you and I could have a little friendly competition. I just caught this fish here. Why don't you try catching a bigger one of the same type? Oh, you've caught one. Let me see. Nice, you beat me. This is for you. Nice, a steel sword. Choose another four star, huh? Oh, you caught one! Yes, yes, yay! Oh, this is it! This is the fish I have been pining for! I am so pleased! I shall cook it up immediately! Okay. The herring. Thanks. There you go, Flane. I guess that's it. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? I think you can actually go back and talk to everybody yes. again. This created more Three fun times. than I have experienced in a long time. Did you also have the fun? Hey, I wasn't expecting much, but this tournament was a lot of fun. <laughs> the fishing tournament's over already? Guess it's time for my personal eating tournament then. Best part is, no losing. <laughs> personal eating tournament, I like that. The uh, fishing funny. tournament is over. I heard you did some fishing, and that flame is happy. <laughs> yes, I did, Shamir. Gosh, I love Shamir. All that's left now is to eat it. Should I smoke it? Stew it? Ugh, I'm drooling already. Me too, Ingrid. I think that's the end of the fishing tournament. I suppose it's time to prepare for the battle of the eagle and lion. <laughs> fishing was a nice change of pace, but now it's time to focus on the battle of the eagle and lion. Hey. <laughs> All right, let's continue on then. Do you have time for a request? Some bandits are making trouble in a nearby village. Normally we would assist, but right now we have our hands full with this Lord Lenato business. So maybe to help. So so many to help, so little time. What do we do? The knight has obtained information about bandits that have been showing up as of late. Head out to the village and deal with the bandits. Sure. Gatekeeper! Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Young Monica disappeared last year. I thought she had simply run along home. 
But it turns out she was kidnapped. I can't believe it. How awful it must have been for the poor thing. They say her personality has completely changed, but at least she seems more cheerful than before. Grateful to be alive, perhaps? It's not suspicious at all. Not even a little. All right, probably belonged to someone who is skilled with a bow. That's going to be Shamir. Hello there. This one, yes? I think oh, man. this one, yes? The next time I do fishing, it's going to take I me think so this long. One, yes? I think this one, yes? We've got so much bait. I think this one, I'm gonna yes? I have to spend an hour doing it. I think. Return soon, Ooh. please. Honestly, like, I do it for the, uh... For the professor rings, but I don't actually enjoy it that much if I'm being completely honest. It's just kind of meh, Maybe. you know. It's a, quite a simple mini game when it comes down to it. So, but I will do it, and I will get all of that professor rank. Hey, what's up, weirdo? Sothis doesn't trust you, and neither do I. What's your deal, bitch? When you feel that first refreshing breeze upon your face, you know it is almost time for the battle of the eagle and lion. Grander Field is within the Empire, but the path there from the monastery necessitates passing through Alliance territory. Fodlan's biggest river, the Aramid River, flows along the border between the Empire and the Alliance. You will have to cross one of the largest bridges upon that river, the Great Bridge of Murden. So yeah, guys, I'm definitely playing coy here with Tomas here, but we've played the game. Most of you are watching from my last playthrough with the Blue Eagle, uh, the Blue Eagles, the Blue Lions, so you all know too. Pressvelg Treaties. Um, that's the, that's, uh, Pressvelg is Edelgard's name, right? A treatise compiled during the life of Emperor Wilhelm probably belongs to a proponent of devious tactics. Hubert? I guess that's Hubert's? You know, the Empire used to control all of Fodlan, but after the Civil War, the northern region split off and became the kingdom. Later, the eastern part of the kingdom seceded to become the Alliance. There are three powers today, but a thousand years ago, we were all united as one. Even now, among the nobles of the Empire, there are some who dream of reunifying Fodlan. Yes, there are. How could you possibly... How could... How could... Are you the one that's, uh, all about fashion or whatever? Um, jousting matches held in Fargus, someone who looks up to knights. That could be several people. I received a rare letter from my father recently. He said that he is praying for the Golden Deer House to emerge victorious, insistently praying. My father attended the Officer's Academy and won a glorious victory in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I think he is quite proud of that, even to this day. I suppose that shows how great an honor it truly is. He expects a lot from you, I'm assuming. Silver necklace engraved with the crest of Seros. It probably belongs to a devout believer. Is that, um, uh, uh, why am I blanking on his name? Wow, I'm really blanking. The fishing turn. I heard you. Whoops. Thanks. Yeah. How did you know this was mine? I ain't no dummy. And you were there last month, and I remembered. Someone who looks up to knights. That could be you. All that's left. Yes, that's yep. mine. Cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> I 
Gilbert. That was the name I, I was looking for. That I oh my gosh. Quietly fishing. Ah, thank you for bringing me this. You are welcome. Hi there. See. <laughs> okay. Training their muscles. That's going to be for um, Raphael. Go and give that to him. Um, awarded during kingdom knighting ceremonies. Belongs to someone closely related to a knight. In the kingdom, most likely. <laughs> the fishing tree. You? Was a nice chase. Your brother was a knight, right? Hmm. Hey. Okay. Anything else in here? Camera swing is making me a little dizzy. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Gotta look everywhere, you know. Hey, what's the up, buddy? It's true identity. Personally, I don't think it could be Yuritsa. He taught me swordsmanship. He said I had talent and the potential to get pretty strong. He was a little scary, of course, but it's hard for me to believe he's a bad person. After all, the ladies love nothing more than a winner. And around here, there's no bigger game. I'm sure they I do. You'd understand, Professor. <laughs> um. 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 After all, what's up, Professor? Hey, I got a girl waiting. Well, two. <laughs> they don't know about each other. I mean, <laughs> can we talk later? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Charm and reason. Reason? That's an interesting one for him. Hmm. Weird. Charm and reason. Okay. Wayne and Monica, was it? I'm glad they were returned safe and sound. I need a favor. The Knights of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus are seeking someone to train with. Kingdom Knights are a, are certainly tough, but I but I bet you can keep up. Practice battle maneuvers with the Knights of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. What's up, Daydu? How's it going, Ever buddy? Ever since the tournament, the kitchen is completely overtaken with fish. The cooks cannot keep up. Okay, then. Really too bad, man. Well. What the? I'll see you later. <laughs> hey. Yep. Right, right. Okay, nothing over here. Small animals hide, meticulously tan, belongs to a skilled hunter that's going to be, um, I keep on wanting to say Bridget when it's Petra. I'm just absolutely exhausted. I swear to you, Professor, every month we worked harder than the month before. I had imagined the Academy as a chance to possibly relax before our lives began in earnest. 
It is what it is. Agreed. That's the Church of Saros for you. What is it they say? Those with power are obliged to use it? That's not mine. That's not mine. That's not mine. Who is this That's used bottle of perfume for? It's gonna drive me nuts. Goodness. Whose is it? Going all the way to the Empire for a mock battle? This is serious business. And there's a reward to be had as well. I'd really like to win this thing. Um, excuse me, Professor. Um, do you think it would reflect poorly on me if I chose not to take part in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Don't you want to participate? Well, I don't really want to leave the monastery. I'm not very confident, but I'll try my best. You seem like a sweetheart. Yes, this is mine. Has a hard time cleaning. Thank you for returning it. You're welcome. What's this? What's this? Okay. So, I think the next person I might want to try and recruit... It's... might be Lysithia. It might be Lysithia. I'll have to check my support and see if I was working on anybody else that I'm forgetting about, but... Wonder Field is in the Empire, right? I wonder how we'll get there. I thought I heard that there's no path that goes straight from the Monastery to the Empire. Oh, perhaps we'll travel through Alliance territory. Yes, I see. From the east, we would go... Mm, there. Ah, yes, that must be it. A lost... A lot... A lot... Huh? Mm. Annie, you're still one of the greats, man. If you didn't watch my Blue Lines playthrough, she was a monster mage. She was so good. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is coming up soon. Feeling confident? You bet. Very. That's the spirit. And this I'm isn't sorry, you, right? That's not mine. I'm sorry. I'm Writing utensil adorned with a beautiful black feather. It probably belongs to someone who often writes letters. That Linhart? Someone in the Black Eagles. My first instinct would be Linhart. What's up, Hilda? Professor, do you have a second? It's about Monica. Does she seem off to you? I haven't she met her yet. She's in prison for a long while, but she seems to have recovered almost instantly, and she's been bizarrely cheerful. Now that you, you see what I mean? I wonder if she's straining to seem happy just to make people comfortable. Hmm. And why is she so close to Edelgard anyway? Let's go see if we can ask about it. <laughs> Probably belongs to someone with a deep connection to Rhea. Cyril, um, Sedith. Along with Flane, we found another female student who went missing last year. But now the combat professor Yuritsa has vanished. His origin begged many questions, so there were plenty of objections to his appointment here. He is apparently from House Rim of the Empire, but he was adopted from another family, or so they say. Anyway, there hasn't been much good to be said about House Rim in recent decades. I want to know more about that. What's up, Hubert? 
It will be a three-way contest. Oh, he's talking about the... The Battle of the Eagle and Lion yeah. is a free-for-all contest among the three classes. If you are victorious, the Archbishop will no doubt present you with a reward. I think he would like this, honestly. I'm not interested in rewards. <laughs> Just what I thought you'd say. <laughs> you know me so well. Unfortunate. Yes, that is mine. Thank you. Where did you find it? Well, how's it what going, Monica? Say? Shall we meet up in the library later to... Oh, hello, Professor. Do you need something? Those I'm... were... A little busy at the moment. Those were two very different voices. Sorry, Professor. I've got a lot of questions to ask Adel here. Since I couldn't graduate last year, I really want to make sure I can do so this year. Don't worry. I won't participate in any assignments, so as not to take any attention away from the younger students. I look forward to learning from you, Professor. Okay. Strange. What do you say, Adel? Shall we meet up? Do you need okay, Sorry, same I could don't I look for All right, what's the reward? An intermediate seal? No. No. I have plenty of those. I don't even think I'm going to do it. Of course, the situation last month was dire indeed. The students endured great hardship. I hope you were able to put all of that behind you, so that you may focus on this month's assignment. Of course. A most reassuring response. I trust that your class is in good hands. I look forward to seeing your skills on display at the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I hear that you participated in the fishing tournament. I appreciate you taking the time. I'm sorry to see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's up, Pops? How are preparations for the Battle of the Eagle and Lion going? Hmm? Fishing? <laughs> Taking it easy, are you? <laughs> you bet. The recent happenings at the monastery. There is something going on behind the scenes here. I've been commissioned to investigate as well. As I've already mentioned, this month I'm off to the kingdom. You be on your guard, okay? Okay, you too, Pops. I'm more worried about you than myself. <laughs> Ah, uh, perhaps I've gotten in your head too much. I won't go dying on you. I've stayed alive this long after all. How you doing, Manuela? I always thought I was pretty good, you know? Then I'd go and get stabbed. Oh. But my opponent was <laughs> the Death Knight, so... I figure I did pretty well to only get stabbed. I wonder if it's true that he is actually Yuritsa. Whoever he is, I'm going to make him pay. It turns <laughs> out that when I get stabbed, I get really mad. We learn ever something new about ourselves every day. I hope you get revenge. I'm not going to let him get the better of me again. Good for you.
Greetings. I don't know if you've heard, but Flane is very special. Her blood carries a rare crest. Oh, the lengths to which she could advance my research, if only I were able to study her. If only it weren't for Sedith's strict orders. He protects his sister with unusual zeal. Maybe you can convince him. Have you ever tried convincing Seteth of anything? <laughs> I'm not sure I could convince that man the sky is blue, if he hadn't already looked up for himself. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not. Oh, wow, that's everybody. Let's just go around here and see if there's an item in the library. Then we'll head up to the church. Alright, looks clean. Can you go there, please? My, like, one gripe with this game is that damn grid on that map. Really? Hey. After the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, a prize is awarded to the winner by the Archbishop herself. It's a three-way battle, so you can't waste too much time just observing. You have to jump right in there. You have to be proactive and defeat the most opponents. Do that, and it's quite possible the Archbishop will recognize how strong you are. Ah, great memories. I was a student here many years ago. I know what I speak of. It's quite a fun battle, honestly. Cool. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind delivering this love letter on my behalf? To whom you ask? Well, he's gallant, and he has a charming smile, and he always puts his family first. Deliver the letter. There's no address, but there's only one person who is gallant, has a charming smile, and always puts his family first. Is that Seda? That might be Seda. He definitely puts his family first. I have no idea about the smile, though. <laughs> I'm not good at cleaning up. I try my best, but before I know it, everything's messy again. I don't know what she'd like. Plan of attack. Alright, nice. Right. Hi. Oh, hi, Professor. Have you heard the rumor about the Goddess Tower? Well, there's an annual ball here the month after next, during the ethereal moon. They say if a boy and a girl wish for something together at the Goddess Tower on that night, the Goddess herself will grant it. I don't know where the rumor started, but it's a great story, isn't it? We will make use of such rumor. Hmm. Hey, Mercy. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was lost in thought. You seem a bit down. It's very kind of you to be concerned, but I promise that I'm fine. I was just thinking, the Death Knight's true identity. Could it actually be Professor Yoritsa? Did you find... Did you... Did you... Did you... Did you... Did you... 
Need something? Wow, thirteen thousand. Didn't think we'd have that much right now. See you again soon. Okay, what else do we need to do? Oh, is this Aloise? Hey. That who this is for? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess he has talked about his wife. I mean, why the hell would this girl give this to him, to knowing that he has a family? Mighty fish, just you. Heartfelt love letter. I appreciate this. All right, let's go and return that now. What? My savior, thank you. Stop sending love letters to elderly people who are both in power positions above you and also that have families and wives and stuff. It's kind of like frowned upon. But you're welcome. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, who do we need to work on? Ferdinand. Ferdinand, Bernie, and Dorothea. Hey. Food? Okay, let's do Bernie and Lysithia. Let's go and talk to Lysithea and get her to join us on a mission. Why would it make I guess there's nothing to be done? Let's just make sure that Lysithea isn't one of the Yeah, okay, where is she? There she is. Okay, we haven't gotten her yet. Why would it make I guess there's Let's see, what do you like? We can do some owl feathers. Those ones are guaranteed twos. For me? There it is. So there's the C rank. Now let's see. If I go through a loading screen, I may get one of those talking areas where I can... Yep, there it is. Got two of them now. Okay, let's do these supports. Okay, this one's Dorothea. What's wrong, girl? Professor, I... Oh, don't worry. It's nothing. Actually, I don't believe you. could we talk for a bit? Somewhere a little more private? Sure, what's up? I'm just gonna come right out and say it. I find you a little difficult to be around. Ow. I know, I know. I'm your student and you're just trying to watch out for me. But the way you look at me sometimes, it's like you're seeing right through me. 
I'm sorry? No, don't apologize. I know you don't mean anything bad by it, and I'm just self-conscious, I guess. The thing is, I don't have anything to call my own. No land, no birthright, no fortune. Little knowledge or battle skill. I think that's why I always clung to my popularity as a diva. Even after leaving the stage behind, I sort of kept up the act. When I look at you, it's like your eyes are accusing me. Telling me that you see right through it. That's what I mean when I say it's difficult being around you. Hey, uh, this might be nuts, but maybe you could show me some kind of weakness of yours? <laughs> I have no weaknesses. <laughs> oh, come on, Professor. Everyone has some kind of weakness. You know mine. If I know one of yours, maybe I'll feel less... I don't know. Vulnerable. Well, if it would really help. Excellent. Well then, don't mind me. You know, Professor, I never hear any gossip about you. <laughs> of a romantic nature, I mean. Would I be right in assuming you're not very... experienced with romance? Maybe we should find out somehow. Inappropriate, I am your teacher. Um, Although she is super Professor, pretty. what's with you? Why aren't you reacting to anything I'm doing? <laughs> oh, come on. Is your heart even beating? You're making me lose my confidence. <laughs> Actually, um... <laughs> it really isn't, but... That's all right. I didn't really think a little tease like that would be enough to get to you anyway. Though it does still make me lose just a little confidence in my own charms. I just have boundaries, Hello. you know? Student-teacher boundaries. They're important. You're very pretty, but... If you try and make that move, I'm just gonna uh. ignore you. Okay, where's this other one? Professor. Shut up, Tomas. Nobody likes you. My Scythia! Honestly, what do they all take me for? I'm fine. Perfectly and completely fine. It's hardly different from daytime. I'm not scared. Ah! Ghost! Smooth. Uh, hang on. Professor? Is that you? Oh, well, <laughs> good evening! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I left something in the dining hall, so I'm on my way to fetch it. But you don't need to come with me or anything like that. I'm fine on my own, really. I wasn't planning on it. You weren't? Oh. Apologies for making an assumption. The truth is, everyone I come across asks if I'd like some company. They all seem to think I'll be scared wandering alone at night. So rude and presumptuous, you know. I'm perfectly capable of being on my own. Of course. Good evening, then. Hey! Professor, wait! I... um... well... Do you mean to say that you do want me to accompany you to the hall? I thought it might be nice to walk and talk together to the dining hall, shall we? To be abundantly clear, this has nothing to do with my non-existent fear of ghosts. Yeah, of course. Of course, Lysithia. I'd be happy to. Oh, you must be bored. Fantastic, then. Do you mind, um, filling the void with some chatter? Some find silence to be a bit unsettling, after all. What would you have me say? Okay, <laughs> I confess. I am scared of ghosts. You don't say. The monastery is unnerving to me at night. So, can we talk about something, please? Anything. I've noticed for quite some time now, you treat all your students equally, don't you? You've never treated me differently simply because I'm younger than the others. And I've always appreciated that. 
You're younger? Isn't it rather obvious? I'm roughly two to three years younger than the rest of the class. Have you just not been paying close enough attention to those you teach? That's poor form for a professor. <laughs> oh, there! I found what I was looking for. She well, just called me out, man. My way now. Good night. You know, to be fair, as a real life professor, I am terrible at remembering people's names. I can get to the end of a semester, and I still sometimes have to ask for people's names. And like, there are some people who think that that's like rude. Like, absolutely rude to not know your students' names. Like, I'm sure that some of my students feel offended by that, but like, my mind just can't do it. It can't. I try so hard. Ugh. It's, it's one of my struggles in life. <laughs> Good night, Lysithia. See ya. And off she goes. Yeah, we're probably not going to get her stat requirements, so we're going to have to get her to rank B, most likely. Okay. So, I guess we should probably do some training. Now, is there anybody else I might want to be planning on recruiting? Who else? We'll probably get Felix naturally and Ignatz naturally. I do like Marianne, but I don't know if I would need another healer like that. Let's see, are Hanneman, Manuela, and Cyril recruitable yet? Where is Cyril? He's over by the... Let's go and see just really quickly if he had a recruit option. Fodlin is... No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> they might not be recruitable until you get a rank with them, maybe? I can't remember when they became recruitable for me last time. Anyways. Um, I should probably do some trainings. So, who is here? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Okay, you can teach me sword. I guess that. Of course, I look. Okay, you can train the sword. I think you can train the sword. I hear that you. Oh, so close. And what else have I been working on? Reason and faith could be good ones. Those are always useful, eventually. <laughs> I'm not going. Hold on, I've got one left. Let's do reason. I time. don't know those. The glory of. Okay. That's everything, right? I believe that is everything. We're going to do fishing in like two weeks. So that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope that I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.